Welcome to the end of February, and here is our February newsletter. As you may or may not know, the NBA All-Star Game this year was in Cleveland. Um, it just happened last weekend, and it was really cool to kind of see all of the NBA stars come here. And they also had a special ceremony for um, the 75th anniversary team as the NBA turned 75 this year. So they had the top 75 players of all time come. And it's really cool for me when big special national events happen right here in our city. So I feel like, first of all, it kind of eliminates a little bit of that stigma regarding Cleveland, that it's not that good of a city and everything like that. But I think also it shines a spotlight on people that need it. In particular, our all-stars, talking about our children and families. So today I wanted to share um, two different ways that our all-stars have been helped this month. First is acting. Um, Shelby did a fantastic job running a center on drama, helping the kids learn different acting techniques and having some fun while doing it. Because that's one of our passions is not just like giving kids help with homework, but also giving them experiences that they don't necessarily get. So that was a lot of fun. Also, um, we have the privilege of having my dad come, who is certified as a John Maxwell leader. He's also done a ton of work with different things in T-Mobile and Sprint when it comes to training. So um, he was able to come for a couple days and help us learn how to better connect with people and how to do improve presentation skills. So even though it doesn't seem like it's directly helping kids, but if he's helping us to be better equipped, um, I feel like biblically that's one of the things that we need to do is as the body of Christ, we come together in Ephesians. It talks about the fivefold ministries there for the equipping of saints. So I feel like he really did a great job in helping us to be better equipped to serve our neighborhood. So on that note, that's one of the things that we would love to have more of you guys do. And that's to continue to just help us in any way that seems best for you. But I'm going to talk specifically about three different ways that you can help us throughout the month of March. First of all, joining our CLE team. We are looking for a few more lifetime champions that will help come alongside what we do. And with that, we're looking to add a couple of different things where you can get a bigger look on exactly what we do here and see firsthand our students and the awesome lives that they live. Number two, we'd ask you to serve. We are on the midst of revamping our Bible study. So if you could help us by sharing a meal, that would be fantastic. I'll give my email in the description so you can shoot me an email if you're interested. And last but not least, um, this time of year starts to get a little crazy for our students as state testing comes up and everything like that. So if you could pray for our students that they can continue to hear the love of Jesus in a new and powerful way. We're really excited for what God's going to continue to do, and we can't wait for what you will continue to do through our ministry as well, whether that's through your giving, through your serving, or through your praying. God bless you guys, and we are excited to be serving here in Cleveland. We'll talk to you next month.